Obviously, it is the World Championships, but there's extra spice to it now because it's the, it's the Olympic qualifying tournament. So um, it's it's come round sooner than one, what they thought because I, you know, as coaches, we were saying, listen, this is going to be here before we know it. We were saying this two years ago. Now it's here, but they are ready. They're strong, so. They can't afford to get anything, get anything wrong here. They've got to get it right. This is the time now where they've got to produce the goods. They've been in camp for a long time now. They've been training really, really hard. It's been very competitive. We've, we've brought the Chinese in for camps. We've been over to France. We've been all over the place. So they've had, they've had great preparation. Uh, so now is the time to deliver. They can't get it wrong this time. You know, if you get a medal in the World Championships, it's very rare that a British boxer brings back a medal. Um, but if we can get medals, and obviously if you get a medal, you're going to qualify. But in their mind, it's not about winning the World Championships. This isn't. This is about the Olympic qualifier. That's the most important thing. That's drummed into them. They know it. They know they could become superstars overnight if they make that Olympic team. So this is their opportunity. Sharp speed. It's a fantastic time to be involved in the sport, to be quite honest. We've got London on our doorstep, great facilities here. There's a real buzz about the squad. Everyone's fighting to get in this squad, and rightly so. We need healthy competition. Uh, the lads know that, so we're, we're trying to double up in each of the weight categories, and they're pushing each other. So yeah, it couldn't be a better time, but it's going to be very, very tough to be successful here. It's going to be very tough. It's going to be very tough in London, and it's going to be very tough at the World Championships. But this is what it's about. I think as a young fellow who's coming through, he's got loads of potential, very, very skillful. Um, Martin Ward at uh, Lightweight, I think he's one to watch out for. Still only 19 years of age, he'll have another year yet of international competition. Very skillful, very talented, but we've got talent across the board. You've got Tom Stork at 64 at the moment, he's in prime position. He's probably our number one 64 at this stage. He's the most experienced member of the GB squad, Olymp uh, Commonwealth Games gold host of the ABA championship uh, that he's won. I mean, look at Khaled Yafai and Andrew Sell, the European champion from Wales. You know, he's obviously GB, going for, going for the place. Also Fred Evans, Wales again, but a GB boxer who's going for the place. We've got talent across the board. Well, yeah, I think the lads look at me and they say, well, you know, Richie's been there. When I'm telling him things and giving him advice, there's not a question mark in their mind because they know I've trodden the same road, the same path as them. So yeah, and I also achieve things uh, as a professional boxer as well. But yeah, from my Olympic experience and from my amateur experience, I had 43 internationals, so I know what it's all about. I just wish that I'd had this set up when I was amateur. I probably wouldn't have turned pro, but there you go. Great working with Robert because obviously me and Robert were in the same England squad together as an amateur, box winning together, went to the Commonwealth Games together, so, and we've kept in contact. And so, but we've got a great, camaraderie good coaches here it's a fantastic setup we've got the talent we've got the coaches we're going to win gold medals we're going to win gold medals